Field where the Pipers are celebrating their spring celebration. And I'm here with the Hamlin Piper. So, how's the first game of this doubleheader going? It's going fantastic. Is there a lot of fun things for everyone to be doing here? Hamlin Piper Baseball ended the night with their heads high, winning both games of the doubleheader, the second game by a staggering 19 runs. Johanna Neen here. I'm standing outside the Softcore Gallery in Drew Fine Arts. Did you know that this isn't the only place that you can see student art around campus? In your time at Hamlin, some of you may have noticed a shed or two outside of Kloss Field. Well, little did I know, these sheds are a second home for some of Hamlin's most creative minds. With the recent student art popping up around campus, I found out that not only are these impressive pieces housed in these sheds, but the students making them aren't necessarily all veterans either. It is really getting out of my comfort zone normally because I am a very by the book, straightforward, get the job done, but with the new art class that I've been taking, it basically has forced me to think outside the box and think of different ways to express myself in ways I hadn't thought for. So student sculptures are great. But why would Assistant Professor of Sculpture, Allison Baker, have her class reveal their work to the entire campus? While well, Allison is really like into people um, putting their pieces into the world, just so then people can see it and like people are forced to interact with it, so then it's not just like stuck in the studio, which I think is really great. It seemed like the Pipers responded pretty well to the art as well. Well, this is a giant tornado which was filled with over 100 pounds worth of tomatoes. And I was actually sitting outside on campus and um, I feel like I got a lot of good attention. The first piece that we did was with wood and I put the swings in GLC and I had a lot of people like ask about them when I go to my classes there. I would see people like interacting with it, which was really sweet. So whether you're an art major, artistically impaired, or somewhere in between, consider taking a class that pushes the boundaries a bit. You never know, you could be Hamlin's next Picasso. The Sexual Violence Committee hung up shirts in Anderson as a part of Green Dot's Clothesline Project and for Sexual Violence Awareness Month. The shirts represent victims of community violence. Those are shirts, um, each one represents a different um, victim within the last 2015 year. And so there's, I think, around 32 shirts. And so it, they're made by uh, families, family and friends of the, those who died. This month is Sexual Violence Prevention Month, and the shirts hanging up commemorate lives that were lost from community violence. Each shirt includes a short story about how the victims were killed. Many shirts featured ages, hobbies, and photos. Hamlin Students Preventing Sexual Violence Club is running a photo booth where students can show their support and solidarity for survivors. According to Patty Klein, Hamlin's Title IX coordinator, Hamlin's Green Dot program was brought to campus to help raise awareness and prevent sexual violence. Green Dot was brought to campus um, for that reason. And, you know, again, it is our hope that through our prevention acts, we are able to have an impact not only here on campus, but in the broader community as well. After signing consent forms, students used a whiteboard to write personal messages to the survivors. Students are writing notes and participating in the photo booth so their messages can be seen, heard, and displayed through social media and at the Sexual Violence Intersectionalities Art Gala. Photos will be featured at the gala along with slam poetry and art from the Associated Colleges of the Twin Cities students. Students this year, as we were planning programs for this month, I think the difference is you're seeing more around domestic violence and recognizing that dating and domestic violence are, are serious acts and that we need to be aware of that alongside of being aware of sexual assault. Just took place. 
It was facilitated and sponsored by the HR department. IT help desk team Momo Squared took first place. After the Office Olympics, I was able to chat with Momo Squared team captain Tristan. It was a, uh, it was a good, a good feeling. Uh, we finally brought a, uh, brought ITS the first place win, which we've been trying for, I think, ever since it started. Uh, for the past week, we've been training with a lot of online badminton games, and I think that's what really brought us to the level that we are. Absolutely, I loved it. I love the energy. They all had fun. They all were excited to be here. And I think my team, I just want to say, Anna, Elizabeth, and Terry, all of our HR student employees, they did a great job putting it together. The Hedgeman Honours and Awards for 2016 was held on Wednesday, April 27th at Anderson Centre. The programme included graduating senior address, remarks from leaders, entertainment and awards presented to the undergrad students involved in student diversity initiatives sponsored by the Hedgeman Centre. So the Hedgeman Honours and Award is an awesome event here and it's super unique. It's devoted to recognising the students, staff and faculty that have really gone out of their way to make Hammond a special place and to make it inclusive. The Hedgeman Honours and Awards organized this event to recognize, celebrate and inspire student achievement, excellence and success in and beyond the Hamden University community. Okay, so the Hedgeman Honours and Awards is to promote student diversity and to actually celebrate the students here. Congratulations to the award winners. Thanks again for tuning in to The Pipe Report. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click like down below and subscribe to Hamlin University's YouTube page. You can watch more Piper Reports, interviews, inside looks into programs, majors, and student life campus events. Still want to learn more about being a Piper? Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and follow us on Twitter at HamlinU. Tweet at us using the hashtag Pipe Report and tell us what you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching.